All right. Welcome back. Another fun, sighting, whale watching adventure. As yes, Matt this is said. the title is. Well, obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can read the title. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Whale in his natural habitat opens <laughs> booster boxes. So we've got uh, six set boosters that we're going to open here. This is the first one. And this is box one. Yep. Um, so we're a little bit behind because uh, I didn't get my product from Matt this time around. And the collector box will be last. Yep. And so, yeah, so there's there's six set booster boxes and then uh, a collector booster Branch, box. Branch said I will pay you zeros of dollars to open that collector booster box first. Uh, nope, that will be last. Sorry. So is this, um, nope. Is there, are we short of packs? Uh, yeah, I, 29 I, packs I, in there? I thought that we were a little <laughs> bit off. So I just, like, the rest of the boxes will all be, when we start the packaging, will all be pulled out. But, so you won't have to go through, watch yeah. all that. Um, I don't know what's what order. They go really weird. Okay. And apparently these are backwards from mine. These must be... These are USA's. I got Japanese. Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Why is there commons, uncommons, and commons again? Because of the slots. Oh. Um, so that's a rare. That's, is that a different foil? Oh, that's the land. Right, because there's a foil land. And then, tokens. token. Fun. Wow. That was super difficult. Yeah. And it's the exact opposite order that my packs were in because they were the Japanese printed packs. Uh, okay. So that's, yeah, there you go. There we go. And like, since you don't know how many commons and uncommons you're getting, right? Do you like the special arts? Um, I like them. I'm not. Keep doing cards. On a post, this isn't the wrong. I was looking at something that was, something was wrong. I was like trying to figure out what I did wrong here. Um, I'm like, I like, I like this pack though. Oh, nice. Even nicer. <laughs> Actually, the first one. Was the first one was probably nicer, yeah. But uh, like, I mean, I'll, I'll take the alternate art land and and the yeah the laughing spider. She she pretty good. Um, they're cool. They're like pretty plain Jane, which is nice. Uh, yeah, I like them myself. I like any alternate. I, that goes I like there. these. These are cool. That involving too. wilds is pretty sweet. Um, but I probably would never use it because I don't. I'm like, I guess technically that goes in that slot. Isn't that correct? Yeah. I well, it's think. it's a showcase slot. Yeah. Um, Dargan Turtle, Grim Bounty, Fairy, Fairy Dargans, Fairy Dargans, Little Baby Dargan, the yeah. One One Dargan. Um, I think this is. Probably like it's just like obviously as simple as they I think they could go. Yeah, I like them because they stand out. The only thing I don't like is you can't tell their color. Yeah, um, but you know once you learn the cards, that's not an issue. So, yeah, there's definitely. I mean, there's there's always definitely downsides. To it's everything not like you're doing, right. It's not like uh, most of them will see play, I guess. Oh yeah, you probably you end up. You don't with have to memorize couple. what all of them are. Yeah. Um, and obviously, artwork plays a lot into what a lot of people are doing. Oh, weird. Oh. Um, like, pe a lot of people know, oh, that's the artwork for such and such, right? Um, that's not going to be the case if people are playing those. Yeah. But, uh, mind flare. We're at, like, some... Oh, there's a... Hey, look. You got the emblem for the Planeswalker that, that you got. That is not there. I didn't get a list card. I got an air elemental. Sweet. Yep. Sweet. Yep. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, that's an awesomely yeah. exciting list card. We're going to add these reprinted list cards because it'll be exciting to open them. <laughs> oh my god, I opened an air elemental. I can't contain that excitement. <laughs> yes, it's pretty good. And it's uh, cool. Like I opened a Vesuva in one of mine, so yeah, that was well, pretty cool. I'm already ahead. Lair of the Hydra. Xanathar. Not full art. Minion of the Mighty. Is that a triple rare pack? That is, yeah. Nice. And well, a rare, yeah. Oh, well, I was just saying, rare I, mythic. Rare. I was hoping it was going to be like I thought it was double <coughs> mythic. Yeah. Rare there for a second. Uh, and a and a foil windseer. Um, and it looks like the foils are holding up a little bit better. I saw some around. really weird anomalies where like the sh the full art or extended art was worth 
less than the regular art. Yeah, there's a uh, really weird anomalies. Oh my goodness. I have to pay attention to what they're in, like the orders they're in. So yeah, Zalta and a, so this is a foil. This is weird looking foil. It's a foil showcase or whatever that is. Some of those like are really hard to tell if they're even foil. Yeah, and the foiling between the American and the Japanese boxes is different again. Again? Mm -hmm. Well, that makes me feel bad. I don't know which one's considered better. better. Yeah. yeah. But I, I was looking at some of the ones I had, and I was like, whoa, this foil looks weird. <laughs> like, the black cards that are foil almost look gray, not black. Wait. Really? Mm -hmm. I'll have to show you. So they're like a little bit lighter in color mm -hmm. on, under the foiling process or whatever? Yeah. Prime Shield Frost Giant. Mm-hmm. I hate having to like stop because you have to do that. It's the nice part about the draft boosters. Yeah. A little bit Is easier. You, you know just know where to cut yeah, to. You know, 11, 3, 1. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. I guess I can't, also can't like the, uh, the special lands. So this goes here, I think, right? Yeah, it's a showcase. Cause and it's the I'm gonna put it here though, because it's gonna go in my binder. Even though it's an uncommon. Yeah. I don't know that those will end up there. So Paladin no, class. You're gonna have one in every pack for those. Yeah, that's what I said. So I don't know if they'll I don't know if they're gonna go in there. Um So I ended up with a paladin class. What was the other class? Monk class, I think. The Azorius one? Don't have the tear strip. Dang. Ooh. It's the news. Let's go. <laughs> Gasa Gasa. Uh, Robin Sunner. Regent. Who's boy? Flame Skull. Um, Necrotic Sliver as a list card? Okay. I mean... I, can put I, don't, that I don't think you're building a Sliver Commander deck, so... No. I mean, I have that one Sliver, the first one or something like that. Oh, yeah. I think is what it's called. Oh, that was a lot of uncommons. Good. Is it a Hand of Vecna and a Foil Monk of the Open Hand? Now we just need the, uh, I need the... Grandmaster of Flowers mm. that tutors that thing up. The Planeswalker. Yeah, because you're going to build that deck. It doesn't seem like a deck you're going to build. I mean, I didn't say that. So, yeah, this is like one of those very odd. Like, what color is this? Simic. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what card is that at first? Zorn. I played that. I would have liked to have had that foil to, to play this last week because that would probably be the only time that I will ever play that card. Um, are there a bunch of uncommons that are worth anything? Uh, you know, I don't think so right now. So foil mini cleave. I don't think there's a like expressive iteration in this set. Yeah, nothing that's like, like dumb. dumb. Yeah. Not yet, at least. There might be. Think something maybe pops out eventually. Ooh, so we could talk about what WotC could do differently with rotation. Ooh, we could. There's an Orcus and a foil cave at the front. Because that was actually a, a video that MTG Goldfish posted. Was yeah. the case for making two standard rotations. And they actually screenshot one of my Facebook posts. <laughs> Didn't yeah. give me a direct shout out, but I think they there's me in it. So there's yeah, definitely consideration for like multiple more than one rotation a year, correct? Yeah. So most people just assume, well, there's once your rotation, we could do twice your rotation. So your fall set and your spring set, you can have standard rotate. Yeah. But I actually like the idea of having an eight set format. 
where you have one in and one out. So when Innistrad comes out, I think Eldraine was the oldest one in standard right now, right? Yeah. So Eldraine yeah. would rotate when Innistrad comes out. And that does throw a wrench in the gears because you have two Innistrad sets. So they could just, if if they were to change it, which yeah, they aren't yeah. going to, obviously, but if you have a, a situation like that, you just say these are one set being released Reached in two, two yeah. portions. Yeah. So like you don't change it there, but... The main appeal to that, I think, for me, oh, is that, so let's take AFR, for example. This is going to rotate in September of 2022. Right. We don't know the exact day, but September of 2022. Yeah, yeah, whenever. So yeah. this will be in standard for approximately 14 months, maybe 15 if you're lucky. Yeah, we were having this discussion yeah. last night, right? Because yeah. this one's kind of funky because, because of, of Innistrad. Innistrad. Yeah. So yeah. I think Innistrad releases like a couple of weeks earlier than a normal fall yep. set. Um so you're going to have AFR and standard, which Ooh. a lot of people are hyped and excited to play. Okay, nice. And like it's it. going to rotate sooner. So then Innistrad will rotate in September of 2024. Right. So it's in standard for exactly 24 months or right. close to 24 months. Whatever that ends, yeah, up, whatever being. ends up being. So you've got like, and that's why people hate standard, right? And oh, these my are, cards lose value. They rotate. I can't. And these numbers know. are all based off of what's. <laughs> traditionally yeah, tradition. happened yeah. in magic so like don't don't lose your cool because like that might not be the thing right so it's traditionally been 23 20, 23 and a half 24 months yeah uh, for the longest for the longest set. set and then of course the summer set is always the one that gets nice nice that gets uh eliminated the soonest after it's released so it's always 15 ish months right so that's like Dragon's Maze was the same thing. And I bring that up because it's such yep. a worthless set aside from one card, which has been reprinted. Now, you will now. Yeah. 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 Um, so like, that's what people always argue about. Like, I don't want to play standard because my cards will rotate and lose value. And I think <laughs> that the one in one out method would preserve the value of these sets that that summer set and even the spring set well even the spring sets yeah, yeah it would preserve that preserve the value longer because you would be playing with them so longer. you're only you're 18 months on that set right right traditionally on average yeah. and then you're 21 months on the winter set yeah so like there's there's definitely things and like i guess it used to be it probably used to be something different too for the fact that like so remember when you had three set cycles so you had three sets coming out and they were all together and they all kind of work together and intertwined. Well, there's something to be said about like having them all rotate out at the same time, right? Well, we don't have that anymore and we haven't had that in right. quite some and time. They also, so they did try to do the two set rotation. Um, a couple years ago? Yeah, it was a few years ago. And I am convinced that the only reason they did that was because they didn't want certain cards in standard at the same oh, time. Oh, could be. And I want to say it was Shocklands and Fetchlands, but I might be wrong. I'd have to go back and look at the time period. Delina. I don't, I don't think it was during cons that they I, did that. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I'll take a foil white mythic Dargan. This hasn't been a bad box. I was all upset because it was like... So it wasn't a sealed case when I got it. Um... Because it's like, it was just six boxes thrown into a larger box. Yeah. And and the box could have easily put a case in it. Yes. And easily. It's not like the collector box takes up much space either. No. No, it was actually just chilling yeah, on, top chilling of on top of everything. Uh, fighter class, all right. So yeah, I would like to see them experiment with that and just have like diverting formats where they have, I don't know, traditional standard. And I guess you might have to rename it because they already call it that on on arena and then you could have like i don't know test standard or whatever you want to call it nice that's the cube yeah nice he's all excited about that. nice that's cool. sorry sorry i'm like i don't know why it was just, it was my thing magic missile rogue Yo, what up pop tart And yeah, yeah, we're box and, one like, here. He argued that the chase rares and mythic rares of the recent standard sets have splashed into eternal formats, so it wouldn't affect Watt season come much. I totally agree. But yep. if they tone down the power level of cards in the future, well, 
And so, like, there was somebody that made the comment, too, was like, we're coming off of... Okay, I gotta stop for two seconds. Hobgoblin, alternate Zarn, foil alternate Zalto. Triple rare. That seems pretty good. Yes. Um, somebody was talking... I don't even remember who it was or what they're talking about, but um, we're coming off with like this set especially to um, like two very recent powerful sets, not necessarily for standard, but for you know in Strixhaven and Modern Horizons two that impacted a bunch of other formats, and people were super excited to play that stuff. And then it's like, oh wait stuff for standard is still the same stuff for standard. Yeah. Like we had these two sets, one of them that was list that was released in the standard that didn't have much of an impact. And one that, you know, was obviously released and did its job. And obviously for- WotC acknowledges the problem with standard because they created the standard 2022 format. Yeah. I want to say if they so- did that last year too. Oh, did they? I want to, I believe so. Yeah. I guess it, it but wasn't, I, I believe it was because people were in the same yeah. boat, just like, yeah. Well, and that, but it was also probably because of COVID. Everybody was sitting at home. It's like, hey, yeah. we want something extra, you know? Yeah, and I guess, like, we didn't really pay attention. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. We were, no. St- we were still playing at the shop. Yeah. So there's there's definitely a lot of other things there that we wouldn't necessarily have caught or done. But uh, I definitely think there can be some... What do I want to say? There can be quite a bit of argument four multiple rotations a year. Don't know what the correct number would be. I like the idea of eight. the latest eight sets are in standard because then it's also very simple to go. The latest eight sets are in standard. Yeah. You don't well, have to yeah. list off five. You don't have to, oh, what month is it? So there's seven. Polymorph, seven. Minsk, Foil Wolf. All right. And then you know that when you're investing into any set that's printed this year, you're going to have a year left to play with those cards. And I think that's a lot easier than... Yeah. I mean, there's literally a website, whatsinstandard.com, because nobody remembers can tell what's, in what's standard. standard. Yeah, yeah. we would try to have the conversation with the guys. Like, uh, oh, they didn't do it last year. They just banned Teferi and some other cards really early. Oh, so that then that sense. is the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a new <laughs> format. <laughs> it's the same thing. Uh, so there's I. Last pack. Last pack for this box. We'll see if WotC actually changes anything. I doubt it. But and it would be cool. They've they've listened to people in the past, so. Well, and that's the thing, right? It, just because they don't do it now doesn't mean that they're not listening. Yeah, I mean, if they did it right now, it would change a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, they'd be like, ah! Right. All of a sudden, you know, everybody's like, I mean, everybody's been on the ban hammer. And, like, you now it happens, and now everybody just screams for bannings, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, as soon as you make that official, then they're going to be like, uh, ban gold scan, gold scan dragon, dragon please, yeah, yeah. because it's literally play that card or what play a card that beats it. But yeah, that's the hard part. But, you know, on Friday we had no one played the same deck. Oh, no, no. Jason and Rick were playing pretty similar, pretty decks. similar decks, I think. Yeah. But I mean, we had a good variety. And more importantly, you actually had to brew with cards in the new sets because you weren't like, oh, I'm playing red. So four bone crusher. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was yeah, the... I'm playing green, so I have to play uh what's what's the creature? I don't actually play it. The five five for three. Oh, Love Struck Beast. Yeah, Love Struck Beast. It was like Yeah, like it's just an auto include. Yeah, yeah. It's two cards for one. And I said it when adventures were spoiled that they were gonna be too powerful because it's two spells for every card. Yeah. How many packs are in here? Thirty. Okay. Play some box sealed. <laughs> Whale sealed. Full box. No, we aren't going to do that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, 33 regular wares. Five mythics, a foil mythic, and three foil wares. So, 33, 36. 36 and 6, so that's 42. like... 42. It's like 48. It's like 54, right? Yeah, 54 rares in that box. So, 40, 42 rares... Yep. And your conventional has 37. 37 ish. Usually. So we're ahead. Play the game. How do we want to play the game exactly? <laughs> yeah. 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 He's, come on now. All right. So that's, that's it box, for box one. one. So we're back for box two.